All right, this should not be a surprise, but today I decided I wanted to go fishing. So fishing has been very slow around here recently. It is very hot and it is just the dead of the summer, so it can be kind of tricky to catch fish. What better to use when the fishing is slow than some live bait? As we all know, live bait can get expensive. So I figured why not go out today and try to trap some bait myself? The only problem with that is I do not have any minnow traps or anything to actually trap live bait. So today I'm going to try to make some minnow traps myself. I'm going to be recycling some old water bottles and turning them into a minnow trap. Hopefully this can work. Let me show you how I'm going to make these things. These are the supplies you're going to need for the minnow traps. You're going to need at least two of the same bottles because two bottles make one minnow trap. You're going to need some kind of sharp object and you're also going to want some kind of line or string or something so you could tie them to the minnow traps and uh, reel it in. So let me show you guys how I'm going to make these right here. All right, so first I'm going to make a trap with these two bottles right here. So these two bottles will be one trap. First thing I'm going to do is cut right here. I'm going to cut a circle around this way and take this part off. This is where the scissors come into play. Just like that. So that's step one. Now you're going to take your second bottle and you're going to want to cut right around this area. Just like that. Actually, I messed this up. You're going to want to cut around. All right, I just fixed this. This is what you're going to want from your second bottle. All right, so here's the part from your first bottle. You're going to want to take the cap off. Then you bring over this from your second bottle. All right, so all you're going to do is put this into here like this. All right, so once it's in there perfectly, I would suggest using a stapler and actually come in here. And by doing this, you make sure that it actually doesn't fall apart. Once you do that, you should be left with something that looks a little bit like this. You could add some extra staples just to make sure that nothing moves around in here. And this is pretty much the majority of your minnow trap right here. Pretty much what we're going to do with this is poke some holes in it. Not holes that are big enough for the minnows to get out, just some holes to help this sink a little bit better. And all we're going to do is drop some bread in this hole down here. That'll hold it right around this section. And if there are any minnows in the water, they should smell the bread, swim into this hole right here. And they'll kind of like almost get caught in this little part right here eating the bread. And it will be kind of difficult for them to get out. So yeah, next I'm going to add some little holes to this. Just to top this off, I'm going to tie some monofilament to the cap right here. So I can tie this down somewhere while I have it in the water. So let's make some more of these and bring them down to the creek and uh, see if these actually work and see if we can get some bait today. All right, there we go. The minnow traps are in the car. I've got my bait of choice today. Now let's head to the creek, test out our minnow trapping skills and uh, see if these DIY water bottle minnow traps actually work. Before we actually test these things out, put in the comments below if you think it's actually going to work or not. All right, we made it here to the creek. I have my traps, I have my bait here. The only thing to do now is to find some spots to actually put these traps. To be honest, I have never trapped here, so I have no clue where any of the good spots are or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to do some searching here. All right, I'm liking this spot right here. I'm gonna drop one of these guys in here. First, I'm gonna go with this guy. All right, I got some bread here. All I'm gonna do is put it in here and push it down. I'm not gonna put too much bread in here. All right, guys, well, this looks about perfect. All right, I filled this guy up with some water. This should help it to sink. And I'm just gonna chuck it right there. And uh, I don't know, man, hopefully we can get some minnows. Yet again, I'm going to put some bait in here. I think right here is probably a pretty good spot. So again, to make sure that these things sink, you just gotta fill it with some water. And once you gotta fill it with water, you just give it a little chuck out there. All right, so that is two traps set up. I have two traps left here. Let's go find a spot for these. I'm pretty excited to see if we can actually get any fish. I'm gonna be so happy if these little homemade things work. Ah, spider web. All right, so I know exactly where I wanna put some of these traps, but I don't know how to get down here. So I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, that's a big spider web. Okay, there's a bunch of spider webs and crap back here. Oh, man. Sometimes though, you gotta risk it. Oh, I see so many minnows back here. All right, this looks like the perfect spot. All right, so I came back here to this little runoff that actually leads to the creek over there, and I see a lot of minnows over here, so this might have been a pretty good idea. The only problem is that it's super buggy back here. Skeeters everywhere. All right, fill this guy up with some water. All right, that looks good right there. Now let's get this other one ready. All right, guys, so I got one trap set up there, one set up here. Let's see if any minnows go into them, and I'm going to rush out of this mosquito haven here. This is ridiculous, there are so many mosquitoes in here all right guys we made it so that is four traps in the water four traps waiting to get some nice juicy minnows as bait i'm really excited to see if we can actually get anything out of those so while those are soaking and hopefully catching some minnows i have my trusty rod and reel here god that literally ow let's see if we can catch some fish this is crazy i've never seen it like this so this is a spot where i used to come and fish all the time in the summer and it's like super overgrown i cannot even stand where i used to fish but i'm gonna see if i can make this work i'm using a little ned rig right here see if we can get on any fish Oh, here's a fish, guys. Got one. Ooh, what is this? Okay, let's go. Yo, that is a decent smallie, dude. This might be the biggest smallie I've ever caught from this little creek here. All right, guys, there we go. That is actually a pretty decent smallmouth for this little creek on the Ned Rig. I'm actually pretty surprised at the size of this fish. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go, but he's definitely a nice fish for this little waterway. There he goes. Let's see what else we can pull out of here. It's gonna bite right there. There's a fish. 
Is that another Smalley? What is this? Oh, is that another Smalley right off the bat? Dude, two Smalleys in a row. This one is not as big as the last. Oh, whoa, this guy is feisty. All right, there we go. On the Ned Rig again. All right, back you go. This is fun. All right, I think I spooked all the fish in this small hole here, so I'm going to uh, move somewhere else. Ah, I really want to check these traps, man. They've been in there for a little bit, but I mean, I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. I'm so excited, though, to check them to see if they actually worked because, I mean, guys, that's like trash. Like, those are just water bottles that would end up in the trash can or recycling, and we turn them into a trapper that hopefully will catch us some bait. And also, just in case you guys wanted to know, I pulled that bread out of my trash can. It's very old bread, and I guess it was moldy, but I actually dug it up out of my trash can just for this. So basically, if we do get some bait, today and we get some minnows that's just some free bait man we use some trash and we turn it into treasure that is just so cool to me so right now i'm walking down this road right next to the creek and i'm trying to find somewhere where i can pitch this ned rig all right guys i didn't catch any fish while i was walking down this creek but i'm now headed back to my traps i mean they haven't been in there for very long maybe like 30 40 minutes ish but i'm super excited to see if we got anything really hoping that we got some in here i just got my cooler out of the car if we did catch any i'm gonna fill this up with some water and then we are going to go fish with our new bait all right so let's see here I have more faith in the two traps that I put in that runoff over there because I saw little minnows swimming everywhere. But yeah, guys, let me pull this guy up and see if we got anything here. Any minnows in there? Well, looks like we got skunked in this one. I saw some fish that were around it, but that's okay, though. I still have hope. Let's go check the next one. All right, here's the next one. Let's see if this one has anything in it. Oh, uh, no. Another empty trap. That's all right, though. I really do think that these other two traps that I put in that little runoff are going to have some good stuff in them. All right, I'm going to fill our cooler with some water just in case because it is going to be so much harder to actually fill this with water. But as I was saying, I'm going to fill this up with some water here because it's going to be 10 times easier to fill this up with water here than it is at that tiny little runoff. So, um, yeah, that should be enough water if we have anything. Back down to Mosquito Haven. Let's see, do we have anything? Yo! Oh my god, dude, I think I see... Guys, I think I see little things swimming in our trap. All right, here we go. First trap. Anything in here? Is there anything in here? What the heck? Guys, these things I think are so small that they just swam right back out. All right, I'm gonna put that back down there. Does this guy have anything? Oh! Guys, this one has some minnows in it. Can you guys see that? They're little tiny baby minnows, but hey, man, I will take them. All right, so I'm gonna dump these guys into our thing here. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just dumped them in here. We have three little minnows, dude. This thing actually worked. And I just found this big night crawler. I'm gonna throw that in there too. Okay, guys, I have a new strategy. I'm going to put all of my ammunition into this little runoff right here. I'm gonna put all four of these little things in here because we know they're in there. Can we just take a second and think about how awesome this is? Like, guys, we actually did it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I did have my doubts. All right, these are all rebated. Let's bring them down to this little runoff. Right, it's not very sturdy ground here. All right, this should be perfect. Two traps here, two traps down there. Now we gotta do the waiting game. All right, awesome. Yo, I just pulled these out and we have some more fish. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me pour them in my cooler here. All right, I'm gonna come down here stealthily and see if we have any minnows in these. Anything in here? Anything in here. All right, it does not look like we have any more in these, but I think we got enough to go fish in here. All right, as you guys can see, we actually did manage to get five minnows, I believe. They might be small, but they'll definitely be a good bait to use in this creek right here. Also picked up a little worm off the ground, threw him in here too. He will do just fine in some bait as well. But guys, can you believe this? We used trash to catch these. Like, look at this. We used literally little trash and some old moldy bread to catch us some bait. So let's go over to a better fishing spot and let's try this bait out here. All right, guys, so here we are. I drove over here to another part of the creek. Now, a lot of you guys might remember this as my waterfall spot. I used to do a lot of trout fishing in here back when they were stocking them. All right, so as you guys can see, I just hooked this little guy through the nose. I just have a small split shot on here. I'm gonna give this a little toss out, see if we can get some fish. Guys, I literally just saw a fish come and swipe the minnow right off. What the heck? As I was reeling it in, some fish came over and literally just swiped it off. So now we are down to four minnows. Guys, I got fish. Guys, I got a fish. Yo, on the minnow. That is a decent sized rock bass right here, guys. All right, first fish of the day, guys. This guy is super feisty, but look at the colors on this rock bass. This is just beautiful. How crazy is it that we caught this fish on pretty much free bait? I mean, we used some trash, we got some bait, and now we're getting some fish. This is so awesome. All right, let's let this guy go. There he goes. Yo, let's get some more, man. This is so cool. All right, guys, this is definitely the smallest one of the day. Let's see if we can catch us a fish. There's a fish. Oh, what do we have here? This is a little bigger. Dude, what is this? Wait, what the heck? 
What is this? All right, guys, there we go. On the minnows that we trapped, a nice little smallmouth bass. This guy was really angry about me catching him, so I'm just gonna let him go. Whew, let's see if we can get some more. So let's let this guy go. Oh, gosh. What the? Are you good, bro? What are you doing, man? What the heck? All right, I'm gonna have to give this guy a little hope because he's a little special. By the way, for that bluegill, we actually switched over to the worm that I'm currently using it now. Yeah, guys, it's sad but true. We did use all of our minnows that we trapped, but it's a really good thing that I caught this little worm right here. Oh, okay, what do we have here? Oh, is this another bluegill? Oh, there we go, guys. Pretty sure pumpkin seed. All right, guys, this is definitely a new species for us today. I'm not sure if that's a pumpkin seed or a red breast sunfish. Definitely really pretty. Let's let the guy go. So, guys, what are we up to today? Is that four species? We caught a rock bass, we had a smallmouth, we had a bluegill, and then just now we either had a pumpkin seed or a red breast sunfish. I'm pretty sure it was a pumpkin seed. There's something. What do we have here? Another bluegill. Oh. No, this is another one. All right, this is 100% a pumpkin seed right here. That is just awesome. I'm gonna need to take a picture of this guy right quick. All right, well, he just let himself go. I wanted a picture of him, but that's cool too. All right, guys, as you can see, it's getting pretty dark and I have a decent walk ahead of me, so I'm about to head out. I'm out of bait anyway. I used all of the worm. I used all of the minnows that we trapped and that was just a lot of fun. I mean, four species, well, I mean, I guess five species if you count the minnows, but five species without having to pay any money or anything for bait, that sounds like a good day to me. All right, now it's a race to the car before the mosquitoes can get me. Okay, so I am home now. I just got out of the shower. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. So I encourage all of you guys out there to go and try to make these water bottle traps yourself. And if you guys do make them, let me know how they work for you and definitely send me a picture of them. The link to my Instagram should be in the description of this video. But as always, guys, I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. I'm trying my best to hustle out here. I'm trying to make a lot of content for you guys. So to make sure you if you guys never miss any of the content make sure you go down there and hit the notification bell next to the subscription box and if you are already and you did enjoy this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button so overall the minnow traps did work we had a pretty fun day out here so let me know if you guys like videos like this let me know if you want to see any other content that is similar to this and as always your suggestions down in the comment section for video ideas are always greatly appreciated so guys that's going to be the end of this video i really appreciate all of you guys watching and liking and supporting it's just crazy let's keep this rolling i'm having so much fun so thank you guys for watching i'll see you next video